This is Andy Porowal for Boxing Social in association with Betfred and I'm delighted to join by Denzel Bentley here in London. Denzel, how are you doing? Good man, I feel good man, how are you? I'm getting by man, I'm getting by. Obviously it's good to see you in kind of a chirpy spirit and happy spirits, getting ready for Saturday night now. Um, first question, obviously you boxed well, about a month ago against Nick Hall. Um, do you feel, just over a month ago, do you feel a little fortunate at all to kind of get back on the show so soon or do you feel like you're just ready and just falling at the right time? No, 100%. I feel fortunate to, to get back out again so soon. Um, obviously, seeing what's going on in the world, whole pandemic and stuff, people haven't even still haven't fought and they probably won't fight until next year or the year after, if you know what I'm saying. So to be able to get two fights back to back, I'm happy with that. And I feel like it's good timing, I'm ready. I, I've been in the gym since, obviously, we've, we've been allowed back in the gym and I feel like it's, it's, it's a good time to take the fight. Is this a chance for you to kind of, you had your performance against Mikul, then you move forwards, and if, you, if you're victorious against Mark Efron, a chance for you to really grow your own following and to kind of put your name really in and amongst the middleweight division? Yeah, 100%, and that's the aim for this fight. I, that's why we're calling for names like this, you know what I'm trying to say? So um, there was no other real, you know, middleweights on this side of the promotional things that I could have called and asked for, apart from Mark. So... It wasn't like I'm just pinpointing him. It's like, who else is there that I can ask for? We know Liam Williams moving on to world level. Um, so it was only really Mark. And, and he's, he's ranked top five on box track in, in the country. So a win over him gets me up there in the top five in the country. Also gets me an IBF European title and puts my name right in the mix. Talk to me about Mark Denzel, you know, I know we've spoken about it previously, the bout and what you expect, but as you've zoned in, as you've seen him today, what do you make of him, especially when you're up close and personal? Yeah, no, he's a good fighter, he's a good fighter, he's a cool dude. Um, he hasn't really come here and started, you know, trying to act like I'm not talking to him because of fighting, and it spudded a couple of times and like whatever, but he's a cool guy, he's, um, yeah, man, he's a cool guy, man, he's a good fighter as well, so yeah. A lot of people excited about this fight, it's a very good domestic fight for people to tune in on. Do you expect it to be kind of well be able to steal the show come Saturday night? Yeah, I'd hope so. That'd be nice. That means more eyes on me when I'm performing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it will steal the show. I think out of all the fights on there, this is the most interesting. Of course, you've got Andy Yard out there that's that's doing his thing, and he's he's bigger than both of us. And people are tuning in for him, but I think we will. Me and Mark after the fight, we will catch a lot of eyes and make a lot of fans. Denzel, we'll leave it there now, but I'll leave a final word to yourself. What would you like to say to everybody ahead of your bout come Saturday night? Yeah, man, um, tune in and enjoy it. Denzel, been a pleasure to catch up with you and nice speak to you for the first time in person. Thanks for being to Boxing Social. Yeah, nice one, man. Nice to meet you as well. <laughs>